Good morning, Fixin' Family. Hope y'all are having a great day. We're going to do something a little different today. We're going to test theories on how to increase your chances of winning the lottery. There are a lot of theories floating around out there on how to win the lottery. Of course, I like to play the probability theory because I like to look at the payback. Hey, there's Marmy. Hey, Marmy. Uh, the payback, the price structure, and the odds, and that's how I select my tickets. Um, you've probably heard of the white line theory. That's an urban legend that has been around for years, and if you haven't heard about it, it's that if a ticket has a big white line, it has a higher chance of winning, and I probably can show you because I've got five tickets in a row right here. So here's ticket number 15, no white line, and here is ticket number 16, a nice big white line on that ticket, and so theory is that this ticket has a higher chance of winning. Now, I've not seen that to be true, but hey, <laughs> there does seem to be people out there that not only win more often, but win really large prizes. And so if you've got a theory or a method of how you play, uh, then, and you'd like for me to test it out, then comment below and let me know. Let me know. Now, it's got to be within reason, not uh, we all know if you buy a full pack of tickets, you're going to win something or spend $10,000 on tickets, you're going to find some wins. But we want it to be within reason that we all can try uh, to increase our chances of winning. So today, uh, this is a theory I heard from a lady several years ago, and it's the five ticket theory. She buys five tickets in a row. She says not only does she win more often, but she wins higher prizes more often. So we're going to check that out today. So I've got five twenty, five ten, and five five. So here's what we've got. I've got the $20, 1 million extreme cash. I have 15 through 19. I've got five of the $10, hundred times the cash, 36 through 40. And we'll start off with five of the $5 winning streak, 26 through 30. We'll test that out. All right, so we have $175 in tickets in total. Let's see how we do. All right, now on this ticket, we're looking to match win, coins the auto win, stack of cash for double, money back for five times the prize. All right, let me flatten this out just a little bit. Now, I did a video on probability theory a couple of years ago. If you haven't seen it, I will link it below so you can go check it out. All right. Again, ticket 26. Testing the five ticket theory. 45, 24, 31, 9, and 43. Now, I play tickets where I've had, you know, five and ten losers in a row. But she says that she has won some really big prizes playing this way. So I'm willing to test a theory. I always think it's smart to share information. Because we're all trying to find that big jackpot. All right, nothing on that first ticket. Ticket 27. Sixteen, ten, thirty-four, thirty-three, and a six. Anything on the last row? Let's see, 26 last spot and a 47. No worries, we have three tickets to go. 28. 37, 21, 28, 43, and 47. And last row, 45, 31, 9, 29, and 27. All right, we got two tickets left, 29. 21, my lucky number 23, 27, 15, and 41. Now, my lucky number theory doesn't pan out usually. <laughs> Ooh, last row. 
19, 18, 47, 5, and a 3. Now, one thing she did tell me, she will not buy individual. She only buys them five in a row. All right, secret number 30. Last part of her theory. 33, 13, 17, 38, and 14. Hey, got a winner. Oh, well, there you go. Fifth ticket was a charm. Can we get anything else? And last row, 47, 12, 1, 24, 34, right? Matching 17, 17's top row. How much do we have? We have got, hey, $10, got half our money back. All right, well, let's try the 100 times the cash. Five tickets in a row on a $10 ticket. I'll play this one very often. All right. Ticket number 36, we're looking for a match and win, 5, 10, 20, or 100 times 100 time symbol possibility. All right. Twenty nine, thirty, thirteen, forty nine, seventeen, and nineteen. So the first ten, ten I guess that may have just said it was half, but it wasn't half back, so I was saying there were four tickets. But got 10 back out of 25. So I did get something back. All right, last row. 2, 42, 3, 22, last spot, and a 43. Ticket 37. Forty nine, eleven, six, forty eight, eighteen, and a two. Oh, got 11. All right, got to win. Anything else? And 8, 46, 23, 29, and a 7. All right, matching 11s. What do we got? We've got, hey, $10. All right, got some money back. <laughs> Ticket 38, got them upside down. All right. Tickets don't blow away. Just a moment. All right. Ticket 38. Let's see if we can get, get something a little bit more than break even. 16, 36, 7, 9, 31, and 55. And I guess it kind of increases your chances of finding back-to-back -back winners. Because a lot of times we play until you win, and then you don't play that next ticket. And I've hit some really good back-to-back -back wins before. Remember on the Wild Cash, we had two back-to-back -back outlier wins, which was... Oh, there's the 10 times. Now, we know there's fake multipliers on this one, but we found a 10 times, so it's going to at least be 20. Fantastic. I would love to know your comments on this.
27. And now we got back to back wins. That's 10 times. Let's see how much we got. Just a moment. Hang on. All right. 10 times what? 10 times. <laughs> we got the 50. <laughs> Profit session on the 100 times. All right. Well, let's see if we can't keep it going. Ticket number 39. That's fantastic. All right. All right, 55, 25, 19, 38, 33, and 22. Can we get three in a row? And last row, 26, 51, 24, 36, 45. No three in a row, but we still got one more ticket left. All right, ticket number 40. Let's see if we can't snag one more win. 45, 15, 42, 29, 54, and 48. All right, two rows left. And last row, 24, 44, 14, 53, last spot, 31. All right, we've got a profit on the 100 times the cash. Let's see how five of the 1 million extreme cash do. Not the easiest ticket to win on. From an odds perspective, it usually only has six or seven winners per pack. All right, but we're not playing the odds. We're playing five tickets in a row, starting on ticket number 15. We're gonna start off in the mystery bonus box. If we get two matching prize amounts, then you win that amount. All right, let's do it. 50, 500, 75. All right, match and win down here. Coins the auto win 10 or 20 times symbol. All right, two, 13, 12, three, 40, and a seven. All right, last row, 47, 32, 49, 29, 31, and five, nothing on the first one. Ticket number 16, 200, 500, 75, All right, look for lucky number one, 50, 47, 11, 39, and a 40.
And last row on this one, 38, 9, 18, 17, 6, last spot, and a 3. All right, we still got three tickets to go. 17. 50. 25. 200. 7, 48, 35, 14, 50, and 36. All right, last row, 44, 26, 29, 27, 43, and 25. We've got two tickets left, 18. 100, 100, 500. 3, 22, 26, 40, 16, and 11. One thing good about theory is they are testable. All right, last row. Last spot. And 39. Ooh. All right. Last ticket. Ticket number 19. All right, let's see if the last ticket comes through. 25, 500, 500. Now, if I missed anything, I will update at the end of the video. All right, 50, 25, 35, 46, 32, and a 40. I can pretty much guarantee it. I would have not bought five of these in a row. Well, this was on new ticket day. That's when I only kind of splurge. like to be proven wrong all right last row can we get it seven 49 31 18 11 last spot and 27 well guys that is a look at the five ticket theory did great on the ten dollar tickets and we did get one win on the five dollar tickets but busted on every twenty dollar ticket guys don't forget to leave your comments below let me know what your theory is hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great lucky rest of your day and we'll talk to you later